Hey, this is your favorite tech with another tutorial. Be sure to check us out on our website or text us if you need tech support. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to break down how to fix Windows 10 startup problems. I'm going to go over a multitude of solutions, whether you can't log into your home screen, whether you need to reinstall your operating system or go to a restore point, whether you need a way to get back into your operating system, even though you can't sign in, you can basically use this tutorial for multiple reasons so make sure you take your time and watch each section of this tutorial different parts will allow you to use trial and error of different ways to solve any issue related to your computer starting up so first thing you're going to do is you're going to restart your computer two or three times and if it can't load up eventually after turning on your computer up to three times it's going to get to the automated repair tool that means you're gonna to get to this blue screen. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't require you to download anything or have any ISO files. This is something that's already built into Windows. So after you try to turn your computer three or four times and it won't boot up, it'll go to this blue screen. When you get there, this is what we're going to do. Let's go to advanced options. All right, now you can choose an option. Let's start with troubleshoot. You can reset your PC, but we're going to go to advanced options. These are all the different options. You can restore your computer. So there's the system restore. So we're going to go into system restore and it's going to find a restore point. So assuming you already created a system restore point, you should be able to move forward in this screen. So I'm going to walk you through how to do this. Okay. If you did not create a restore point, you're going to get an X box that say you do not have a system restore point. At that point, you're going to have to skip up the video to the other sections to try out. Now, if you can pinpoint when your problem started, like after you started a specific program, then I would recommend boot into your computer in safe mode and uninstall that program and then reset your computer and see if it works. But if it doesn't, we're going to go here in the restore point. So in this example, we see one system restore point here. If you have multiple, you can always select a different one, but it seems that we do have one. So select your system restore point. So let's go ahead and press next on the system restore point. So this is just details on what you're going to restore back to. And it's going to show the drive in which you're restoring. Press finish. It's going to just basically give you a confirmation saying, hey, if you're going to restore, it cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? You're going to just press yes. You cannot interrupt this once it starts. You can mess up your computer, so you have to let it finish. Click yes and let the restore process begin. Be patient. It will take a while. All right, the system restore has finished. So it restored back to that specific date and time. And you're just going to click reset and your system is going to start up and load up and hopefully this solves your problem so if it does not work i'm going to show you the next way to solve this problem and it does require us to go back to the automatic repair troubleshooting menu so we're back at the menu and we're going to try another method advanced options troubleshoot select advanced now we're going to try startup repair system's going to do its diagnostics so we're just going to wait while I do that thing real quick. So this tool, the startup repair tool should fix everything. It, once it's done running, reset your computer and see if you can boot into Windows. If it does not fix it, we're going to go right back to the startup repair blue screen once again. And the way to get there again is just hard reset your computer three times and it's going to take you there. And we're going to try another method. So assuming that that third option did not work, we're going to do the automatic repair option. We're going to click advanced options. Then we're going to select troubleshoot. We're going to select advanced options, select command prompt, and we're going to enter in a series of commands that could potentially fix the issue. So first thing we're going to do is pick our main hard drive. So for most people, it's C drive, put the, the, the hard drive plus the colon, then hit enter. Then the next line lets you know you're at the C drive. You're going to type DIR and press enter. Now it's going to show your directories. So that's how you know you're right in the right directory. It should show that it's program files, users, Windows, Windows O. That's what we just put into the command prompt. 
it could be the D drive if your main drive is your D drive, but most people, for the uh, t purposes of this example, use it as their C drive. The next thing we're gonna do is type in CD space forward slash Windows forward slash S V S T E M 32 system 32 forward slash config. I'm gonna hit enter. Now we're gonna type MD backup, or you can name it whatever you want. Yeah, so you can name it whatever you want. You can name it MD, then backup one or backup two. Hit enter. Next, we're gonna type copy, space. We're gonna type star, then period, then the star symbol again, then the space, then B A C K up, and press enter. So that's that's copy star dot star uh, space backup one. Now we're gonna type CD reg back B A C K CD reg back. Hit enter. Now we're in the reg back. We're gonna type in D I R and hit enter. Type copy space star sign dot another star sign space then two dots star star sign and then hit enter so you're going to type what you saw on the screen and then hit enter this is going to tell you overwrite you're going to click you're going to select a and press enter it's going to say overwrite all and say five files copied so at this point you should be good to go and close out your command prompt and you can click continue to windows 10 okay so that should help you with the issues i showed you quite a few methods and hopefully this should help you from here hey if you found this video valuable go ahead and return the favor by liking and subscribing to this channel if you subscribe type the phrase i subscribed in the comment section below keep in mind when you subscribe it motivates us to continue to make these free videos Lastly, if you enjoy learning about technology, entrepreneurship, or making money online, go ahead and check out my other videos on my other channel. Thanks for your support.